Finally, we can talk about for loops. For loops um, are a convenient form that pile several things together. So there's an explicit initialization and test and update part that we could straightforwardly expand out to while or expand out to this uh, go-to based variant where first we do the initialization work, then we have a loop label where we do the test and get out of the loop if it fails. Otherwise, we do the body and update and go to the loop. So when you have four, it might be compiled to some machine code that reflects that go-to style. Let's see what happens when we take our Fibonacci example and put it in four form. So it's similar to the while form we had before, except instead of setting i equal to one here, I put it down here. And instead of putting the i++ at the end, I put it over here, just to make this have a, a shape that programmers recognize readily as iterating from one to n. This looks, um, it's just a small change compared to our while loop. And in fact, if you look at the machine code, you're likely to get exactly the same machine code for this version as this version, which recall had all sorts of transformations relative to uh, this, this loop here. For example, there's no i that turns out that it's implemented with n minus i.